uh, one thing I can tell you is they haven't changed or they haven't evolved, they haven't changed in their structure for millions of years because they're a perfect design. Uh, slow moving, they're herbivores, so they're primary eaters, and uh, they're hermaphrodites. So you can uh, produce a lot of egg from one snail. Today, Rocky French, the uh, farmer scientist from uh, originally from Takurong Sultan Kotarat, now based in Coachella Valley, Southern California. Uh, ito po yung umpisa ng ating series on uh, producing nitrates uh, for uh, fertilization using the most common uh, materials. Ano ang kailangan uh, Rocky to produce uh, nitrates? Siyempre, you need uh, a container. Ito. So, this is a typical container which is 2 feet by 22 feet. Mm -hmm. Ilang galon ang naman ito? 250 galon. Okay. You could make this out of cement. You could make this out of uh, plywood. You could line it with plastic. Uh -huh. So, lag Just lagyan lang ng plastic liner para hindi tumakas yung tubig, ano? Correct. Okay. When I have that already, when I have this uh, container mm -hmm. uh, and 250 gallons of uh, water, what do I need next? Now, you need to harvest some snail eggs mm -hmm. and then put them at the top. Ah, maraming sa basakan yan. Yes. Maraming sa basakan. So what happens is they will calcify and they will hatch and they'll fall into the water and that's how they survive. And the reason being why you wanted to start uh, snail eggs is they're not contaminated. Mm -hmm. You start with uh, the mother uh, snail or the parent snail, chances are it's uh, contaminated with parasite and disease. So the most obvious thing to do is to start your snail from eggs. And uh, at least you, you know... How many weeks before it becomes a mature snail? This from egg to a <coughs> quarter size, it'll take you about three, three months, three and a half months, provided you feed them with good uh, malunggay. Mm -hmm. Why malunggay? Because malunggay is a very high energy food, very, very high in amino acids. And these snails are pure herbivore, and they want uh, very high energy type of leaves, and malunggay can uh, supply that uh, requirement. So, I so for my uh, for my mature snails, Nako, can you can you show me some mature snails? Here, here, here's a typical example of snail that they're eating uh, malunggay, and uh, not only that, you'll have some you know edible snail which is very high in protein, about 80% protein. But it turns out the water after after three days becomes so loaded with ammonia that Three days, huh? Three days. Three days, as long as you're feeding them heavy. How, how often do you feed them with uh, malunggay leaves? Uh, every day, as much as they can eat. Because the more they eat, the more they produce your... Uh, what's the population in a 250-gallon uh, tank? Uh, what's the, what's your have, uh, population? Uh, up as high as 200, 200 pounds, 100 kilos of snakes. Mm -hmm. You can grow them as high as 200 kilos of snakes. And you will be producing 250 gallons every day. And all you need to do after, is... After what period? Halimbawa, uh, naglagay ako ng malunggay. Mm -hmm. Uh, naglagay ako ng, uh, ng snails. Mm -hmm. uh, kailan ko pwedeng ilabas yung tubig na galing sa... Three days. Three days. Three days uh, you, you need to have a little pump. Mm -hmm. Pump the water out. Pump the water out into a container. As you can see, we have containers here. And then let this, pra let this water uh, age. And you will know that you have nitrates already by dipping. And once it starts to be wine colored, I'm going to go grab another one. See, this, this is literally six to eight weeks of uh, natural process. So, what uh, is This is already usable. Usable? Yeah. What, what are those? Those are mosquito larvae. 
They survive the nitrates. Mm. Okay. They get healthy by drinking nitrates. So uh, after three days, he did drain ko siya. They bounce into the container. container. You wait for six to eight weeks, and it becomes usable as long as life. Okay. All right. So yun po ang initial uh, lessons natin ngayon. Uh, number one to uh, start the uh, golden kohol malungkay nitrate production program. You need a tank like this, mm -hmm. uh, holding 250 gallons of water. Mm -hmm. You need uh, 200 kilos uh, of uh, 200 golden kohol. It can hold as much as 200 pounds. Oh, 200 pounds. No? Oh, yeah, it's about uh, 100 kilos. And then you have to feed them with malungkay leaves mm -hmm. every day. Every day. Every day. And every after day. three days, pwede mo nang uh, ihaon yung uh, tubig, mm -hmm. ilipat mo sa tanke. Eh. Let it sit there for six to eight weeks and you have your fertilizer. And you have your fertilizer. But of course, there are still things that we have. We need to explain right. how to process that uh, into uh, a usable, fertilizer, fertilizer. usable fertilizer. Okay? This is the first uh, segment of our show. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, Rocky. We'll be back for uh, the second okay. French on uh, the second edition of our uh, lecture series. Uh, in uh, the production of nitrates using uh, golden coal fed with uh, malungkai leaves. Rocky, curious lang ko, why uh, golden coal? Why snails? Yeah, it seems uh, it's really a very, very new concept because uh, a lot of the people are using uh, fish to produce nitrates like uh, aquaponics and hydroponics. But the values of the nitrates in those type of uh, production is very very low for the simple reason that if your ammonia in your water is uh, 3 ppm your fish starts to die if your nitrites is 1.2 ppm they start to die whereas uh, with the snails they don't breathe water they breathe air so even if your ammonia is high your nitrites is high it doesn't bother them so the higher the ammonia, the better is the production of your nitrates. How long have you been uh, associated with uh, the golden coal snails? So my love affair with these snails uh, started way back in 1986. Because uh, I was curious about the, the intelligence of the snail. It's amazing that they use this as a weather uh, gauge up north when after the plant rise they would dig the snail and if the snail is buried to it they know that they're gonna have a shorter dry season but if they dig the ground and get the snail about three four feet below then they know they have a longer dry season so it helps the farmers prepare so that was the first curiosity that uh, made me start studying snails of course as a hobby turn out that uh, these are the perfect animals that can produce so much uh, organic uh, water soluble nitrates uh, in a very short period of time if you compare this to the production of uh, uh, earthworm tea it, it couldn't even vermity, come close vermity. vermity earthworm tea or compost it can't even come close to what these snails can do for you plus you have a snack every now and then if you wanted to so, uh, sinabi mo sa first uh, edition natin na uh, a 200 pound uh, golden kohol population could produce 250 liters of uh, 250 gallons of, 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 of 250 gallons of uh, raw nitrates uh, yes, every ammonia, uh, ammonia, no? ammonia yeah. every uh, three days. So no? just imagine if you have 20 of this and uh, literally this would translate in like in rice farming you have a reservoir just load that reservoir with snails and drain the water into your rice fields so you have Rocky, so much uh, young uh, snails uh, could you tell us the history of uh, snails well uh, there's not very much studies done in snails but uh, one thing I can tell you is they haven't changed or they haven't evolved, they haven't changed in their structure for millions of years because they're a perfect design. Uh, slow moving, they're herbivores, so they're primary eaters, and uh, they're hermaphrodites. So you can uh, produce a lot of eggs from one snail. 
because they will produce eggs. However, if you put two snails in one area, they will talk to each other and decide which one is male and which one is the female. <laughs> and after they get tired, they, they change course and hey, you're going to be the female and I'm going to yeah, be the male. Can we call this colony a rainbow colony? Oh my God, <laughs> the LGBT, whatever, the transgender, you know, whatever you think. But it's, it's such a beautiful animal for me that uh, a lot of the scientists that really did a lot of study on the snails. So. You think this uh, technology could uh, help address uh, our problems right oh, now yes. with very high fertilizer prices? There you, go. you know, fertilizer is, you know, that's the one of the one of the big issues. It's expensive. It's not really healthy for you. It's not water soluble. So it's the same thing. The microbes will have to work on your fertilizer and then they'll convert it into nitrates and it becomes water soluble and that's when your plants would take it in. But uh, you over fertilize your plant and they die because they're really a form of salt. So there's just not enough colony of nitrosomes and nitrobacteria that can uh, degrade them into absorbable nitrates. So what right. you're really doing here is really trying to produce ammonia and convert them into nitrates the simple and the easiest way. You know, by doing nitrification, and of course, if you store it for a long time, they will, uh, you will lose the nutrients, so right away use it. And, uh, All right. Thank you, Rocky. This is right. the water pump that uh, Rocky French uses in transferring uh, three-day-old uh, water inhabited by golden coal, fed with malungay, into uh, water tanks like this. Mm -hmm. This is just a holding tank to mature and age your, your ammonia. So there's a natural processes that happens here. And it takes about six to eight weeks for your ammonia to break down into nitrites and then from nitrites into nitrates. So, so okay, assuming, ako si Palmer, simple lang ako, hindi ko na siya nang hindi yung list. Assuming na nandito na yung aking uh, ammonia for six weeks, mm -hmm. what do I do to convert this into uh, fertilizer which I could use for my plants? Well, you just have to age them and wait for the time because it takes time for the organism to convert your six ammonia. Six to eight weeks. Six to eight okay. weeks. Assuming na uh, inabot na ako ng eight weeks, anong indicator na pwede ko na siyang gamitin? Yeah. When you... When you get the water sample and your water turns into a wine color like this, mm -hmm. you know you have nitrates already. All right. So, so what you do with your nitrates, you can either mix uh, calcium uh, hydroxide or magnesium hydroxide, which is your apple or your lime. Okay. And then what? Ano ang ano ang dilution? Uh, how many kilos of apple in uh, say? Uh, Probably in one gallon, put uh, two tablespoon of, of apple. Uh, apple. Okay. And then uh, you want to reduce the pH to 6.5 because when, once you introduce your lime, your pH shoots up and your plants don't want that. So what you do is you get uh, one uh, calamunding. Calamansi, calamansi. Calamansi. And ipiga. And ipiga. Okay, ulitin mo natin yan. Okay, yan. Okay, ulitin mo natin yan. Okay. After 6 to 8 weeks, yan na yung nitrates ko. Yan na yan. Okay. There you go, okay. yes. And then, magamit ko yan as a mono, mm -hmm. uh, kung hahaluan ko na ang apog. Apog. Ang uh, yeah. 1 kilo to? No, 1 uh, gallon. 1, one, one gallon of, of, uh, of uh, ammonia. Of your nitrates. Of nitrates. About 2 tablespoons. Of... Dalawang ko sa ng apog. Correct. Okay. But since paglagay ko ng apog, tataas yung pH level. Okay. Kailangan ko siyang pigaan ng isang kalamansi. Isang kalamansi o two tablespoon again of uh, vinegar. To vinegar. So to bring it down to 6.5. 6.5 ang pH. And from there, you could foliar spray it or you could uh, deliver it as a fertilizer. So, it. pwede ko nang right there, no? Yes. yes. Uh, ano ang dilution ko? Alibaba, isang gano'n na gano'n. Uh, ilang... When you start with small plants, they don't need that much. They'll probably need 100 ppm. So, what you do is we, we have a way of establishing how much nitrates we have per container and what we do is uh, we dilute that uh, normally five to six times. Okay, so kung may isang gallon ako na... Dilute it five times with water. So, isang gallon na nitrates, mm -hmm. limang gallon na tubig. Correct. Yes. Yes, yung spray ko pang foliar. Yeah, yeah pang okay. foliar. Mo. So, ito yung uh, formula mm -hmm. and uh, magagawa ito ni ordinary farmer. Exactly. Okay. So, ulitin ko lang. Rocky, pakibalik nyo dito. Ah, balik ka, balik ka. Return to, return to sender. Return to sender. <laughs> dito lang muna. At, ah. Para maintindihan kasi dahil mahirap minsan. Hindi nila maintindihan masyado. Pakiulit lang. 
Yung isang galon na ganito na nitrates, okay? Ahaluan ko ng dalawang kutsarang apog. Correct. Pero dahil tataas ang pH niya, Correct. lalaglagyan ko siya ng dalawang kutsarang suka. Suka? Uh, Mayroon bang, ano, mayro bang, mayro bang preference sa sukang paumbong ba? Uh, o, whatever, as low as suka. Suka na tuwa. Uh, Masa suka, no? O isang, isang pirasong kalamansi. Yeah, if you have kalamansi okay. na, just... Uh, And then, yung isang galon noon, hahaluan ko ng limang galong tubig at pwede ko nang spray as foliar sa go. aking mga tanong. Uh -huh. Wow! Okay. So, my dear friends, uh, ito po yung uh, ating lecture ngayon and uh, we would like to thank uh, Rocky Friends. From here, puntahan natin yung application mismo, yung kanyang garden, kung saan ay uh, ginamit niya yung nitrates sa pagpapataba ng kanyang mga gulay. So, mga kaibigan, ito po yung ating uh, uh, lecture series and I hope that you learn from this and we would like to thank Rocky Friends for uh, his generosity in sharing with us Uh, this uh, technology which can be done by our farmers actually napaka simple and uh, which could actually help our farmers in the face of the very high prices of fertilizer in the market right now so my love affair with this nails uh, started way back in 1986 because uh, I was curious about the the intelligence of this nail It's amazing that they use this as a weather uh, gauge up north when after the plant rise they would dig the snail and if that snail is buried two feet they know that they're gonna have a shorter dry season but if they dig the ground and get the snail about three four feet below then they know they'll have a longer dry season so it helps the farmers prepare so that was the first curiosity that uh, made me start studying snails, of course, as a hobby. Turn out that uh, these are the perfect animals that can produce so much uh, organic uh, water-soluble nitrates uh, in a very short period of time. If you compare this to the production of uh, uh, earthworm tea, It, it couldn't even Vermity. come close. Vermity. Vermity, earthworm tea, or compost, it can't even come close to what the snails can do for you. Plus, you have a snack every now and then if you wanted to so, uh, cook it. So, that was the first uh, edition of uh, a 200 pound uh, golden kohol population mm -hmm. could produce 250 liters of... Uh, 250 gallons of... Out, 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 250 gallons of uh, raw nitrates. Yes, every ammonia, uh, yeah. ammonia, no? ammonia yeah. every uh, yeah. three days. So no? just imagine if you have 20 of this, and uh, literally this would translate in like in rice farming. You have a reservoir. Just load that reservoir with snails and drain the water into your rice fields. So you have Rocky, so much. Uh, young uh, snails. Uh, could you tell us the history of uh, snails? Well, uh, there is not very much studies done in snails. But uh, one thing I can tell you is they haven't changed or they haven't evolved, they haven't changed in their structure for millions of years because they're a perfect design. Uh, slow moving, they're herbivores, so they're primary eaters, and uh, they're hermaphrodites. So you can uh, produce a lot of eggs from one snail because they'll produce eggs. However, if you put two snails in one area, They will talk to each other and decide which one is male and which one is the female. And after they get tired, they, they change course and hey, you're going to be the female and I'm going to so be the male. Can we call this colony a rainbow colony? Oh my God, <laughs> LGBT, whatever, transgender, you know, whatever you think. But it's, it's such a beautiful animal for me that uh, a lot of the scientists that really did a lot of studies. This is the organic vegetable garden of Rocky French. Uh, here he grows vegetables without soil at ang gamit niya lang po ay uh, coco peat or uh, coco fiber and yung kanyang uh, abono natural uh, fertilizer made out of golden kohol and malunggay Rocky, please explain right. okay. If you will notice uh, the first contact sa nutrients are the hair root system So these are your roots, this tiny hair-like structure are the hair roots. This is where the first contact is made 
by the nutrients in the plant. So if the hair roots is healthy and moist all the time, there is a continuous flow of nutrients into the plants 24 hours a day. We, the common way of uh, gardening is you water them in the morning. By the afternoon, most of your hair roots are already dead. So what happens, the secondary roots tries to produce some more hair roots. That way it can absorb the nutrients. So in essence, it is the hair roots that is really the most important root system of a plant that needs to be taken care of. What is this, uh, how is this relevant to the nitrates that you're producing? So, when you have nitrates, uh, the nitrates is being pumped on the side. And as you can see, the nitrates flows into the... So, binabasa mo lang yung ano? There you go. Oh, binabasa then, mo lang yung flooring, yung cement flooring. And then it's being, it's being recycled because it goes back into a catch basin and then it's being recycled. So, literally, it's just... Okay, if I were... Uh, a, an urban uh, dweller, uh, my mm -hmm. apartment ako, uh, can I possibly grow this? This is uh, the perfect way of grow, growing your own uh, organic Ano mga kailangan ko? All you need is uh, cocoa fibers, nitrates, calcium nitrates, and you have a tray where you can plant your initial seedlings. And all you do is just so water it with your nitrates and they'll just start drinking uh, nitrates from your so itong mga pipes palibot na ito, tumutulo, nitrates to? Correct. Uh, okay. And binabasa niya yung cement flooring mo? There you go. And uh, you don't need to water them every day? No, Kaya no na. need. No need. Actually, right now, it's winter time and uh, you don't even need to do this. Uh, you can probably pump the nitrates three times a day because what happens, your cocoa pit is always moist and you tend to... to... <coughs> absorb the hair system tends to absorb all the uh, nitrates from the pocket. So and the advantage is this, pure organic. There you go. These uh, nitrates are all water-soluble and uh, they're easily assimilated by plants. So, <clears throat> now if you think about organic farming, your first issue is uh, contamination of soil. It will take you three to five years just even to clean your soil. Now, if you're interested in doing organic farming, you have cocoa pit, with it's literally sanitized, you know, it's coming from the coconut uh, husk, and uh, there's no contamination. So, okay. it's the uh, fastest way of uh, trying to get permits or getting certified into organic farming. So, ito yung uh, kalabasa mo? Yeah, see, what we noticed was, uh, when they have access to nutrients uh, 24 hours a day, they tend to shorten their growing period. Uh -huh. and, they tend and then to... yung zucchini mo? Zucchini, they were working on zucchini right now. And as you can see, it's only been here for like three weeks and they already wanted to make flowers. Mm -hmm. and, you know. So basically, if they have access to nutrients and they're not looking for it, you shorten your growing period. So what you're showing here is, uh, number one, we can actually produce uh, natural uh, fertilizer. Exactly. Number two, uh, uh, that with uh, natural fertilizer and cocoa peat or cocoa fiber, mm -hmm. uh, an ordinary housewife can grow vegetables in her They're garden virtually. No? Yes. Ang kailangan niya lang paso. There you go, paso. Uh, uh, anything that. Yung mga uh, plastic na mga basag na plastic na mga uh, balde. No? Yes, as long Lagyan as. Lagyan mo lang ng holes, cocoa peat. Yeah cocoa pit and you make holes out of it that way they can have access to nitrate and kapag nagawa mo yan meron kang ganitong gulay araw-araw correct so what you do Ariwa. is you just uh, harvest your lettuce every day and you're literally eating live tissues wherein uh, they taste better than what you buy alright so ito po yung end result noong uh, experiment ni Rocky French yung ating um, farmer scientist na nakapag-develop po ng technology uh, developing uh, nitrates uh, from out of uh, golden kohol na pinakain niya ng dahon ng malunggay. Correct. And uh, this is the end result. And uh, I hope that uh, we have learned from this uh, series of uh, videos courtesy of uh, Rocky French yes. uh, here in his farm in uh, Coachella, 
Valley, Southern California. Thank you, Rocky. Oh, you're welcome.